Welcome to the Scavenger Showcase, where I scrounge up cool video games so you don't have to. In this edition, I wanted to talk about some upcoming titles being released by Devolver Digital, a publisher I think has a great track record when it comes to quality indie titles. Now, every game I'm going to talk about in this video is being published by Devolver, but this video isn't like sponsored or anything. Of course it isn't sponsored. Why would I have a sponsorship? I barely have two subscribers to rub together. I'm not saying that I would rub my subscribers together or rub them separate. It's just, it's an expression. It's a, it's a turn of phrase. Okay, this is getting out of hand. I know in the last video I did the green screen thing, but I don't want it to be like my thing, so I'm not gonna do it. It's just, I thought it, I thought it really fit the opening where I was talking about not being sponsored. It seemed like a good use of the, the green screen trick. You know what? Doesn't matter. It's not going to be in the video. Okay, obviously it looks strange for me to say it's not going to be in this video when here we are in this video. But I just mean going forward. Last one. No more. After this. No more. Except this one more and I don't think it should fully count because I'm just trying to say that I know that we're way off track and I recognize that that's partly on me as the video maker. But also, frankly, I don't think you're really pulling your weight as a video watcher, are you? All right, that was that was way out of line. I'm sorry, you're the best viewer I've ever had. Maybe subscribe or hit the like button. Okay, this got way out of hand. This is supposed to be about 2023 releases from Devolver Digital. Let's just, let's just roll with that, okay? Yeah. Coming to PC and consoles later this year, the Plucky Squire will revolve around 2D character Jot and his adventures in the 3D land beyond the pages of his storybook world. This is the debut title from developer All Possible Futures, a studio co-founded in part by James Turner, the first ever Westerner to design Pokemon for Game Freak. The new studio's mission statement is to create games that cause a stir when the world gets to see and play them. They may just have a shot at it with the plucky squire. The game looks to be a very unique action puzzler, full of mini-games, magic, and a healthy dose of humor. I first took notice of this game during a Nintendo Direct. Coming to PC and Nintendo Switch, Pepper Grinder from developer RX, no idea if I said that right, is a 2D side-scrolling adventure about Prospector Pepper and her trusty drill. Mixing traditional platforming with the ability to dig through the earth the way a dolphin swims in the sea, in an interview on Stefan's Universe in 2019, game designer Riv Hester describes the title as a mix between Namco classic Dig Dug and Sega's Echo the Dolphin. Holy what the heck, sign me up regardless, this looks like a blast. Not only is Devolver publishing this next title for PC and Switch, but they recently acquired the studio behind its development. Coming from Doinksoft, makers of Gato Robato, this new action title is Gunbrella, a noir punk adventure game where a revenge-seeking woodsman sets out with a gun that is also an umbrella. A Gunbrella. See what they did there? I love the aesthetic and vibe of this one in particular. The absurdity mixed with serious tone and the dark palette of the overall world. Let's hope Gunbrella has got us covered. See what I did there? Because you can cover someone with an umbrella or a gun. It works both ways. Get it? Speaking of guns, next up is Wizard with a Gun from developer Galvanic Games. This title is also releasing on PC and Switch. Damn, Nintendo and Devolver must have some sort of blood pact going on, or Nintendo has some embarrassing photos of Devolver somehow because they are just boxing out the other two console makers. Anyway, Wizard with a Gun is an online co-op sandbox survival game and can be played solo or in a group of up to four. The world will feature randomly generated biomes, and if they can pull that off even half as well as Ghost Ship Games' Deep Rock Galactic, this could be one to watch out for. I'd also like to add the music, which I am not showing you for copyright YouTube reasons, is awesome. Check out the game's official trailer to hear the tunes. They bring to mind the work of Darren Korb's catalog across super giant games like Bastion and Hades, of which I'm a huge fan. Fifth on the list, Skate Story from developer Sam Ng. Sam Ng. I'm assuming that's just like one guy and that's pretty rad. The game's art style is eye-catching, to say the least, and seems to put an emphasis on fluid movement and trick execution. Its story looks to be wildly surreal. You're some type of demon made of glass and pain, skating through the underworld to chill beats on a mission to swallow the moon? I have no idea what that means, but look at the damn thing. Tony Hawk on a peyote-fueled trip to Vibe Town. Enough said. 
Finally, Bleak Sword DX from developer More 8 Bit. This is an upgraded version of the game Bleak Sword that originally appeared on Apple Arcade, so you probably didn't play it because it originally appeared on Apple Arcade. It's coming to, you guessed it, PC and Switch. Bleak Sword DX will feature enhanced controls, three new game modes, and more. This dark fantasy action game will see players battling their way through compact diorama-like arenas to lift the curse of the legendary and aforementioned Bleak Sword. So, like, that's pretty cool, dude. And that's that's it. Those are some games from Devolver Digital coming out this year, 2023, uh, that caught my eye. I think you should check out. Hopefully, they're pretty good games.